This is 2OF Entertainment. We're in Portugal and we've come here, we're in Faro actually, and we've come here to drive this. What is this? This is the 2024 Nissan Qashqai. Didn't we just drive that? Yeah, about two years ago, I drove this engine, which is the e-power. It's kind of like a range extender hybrid. So, but this is new, it's new for 2024. The main difference is really that it's had a little bit of a facelift. So it's got a new front end on it and there's some new features inside. So I have not that much time with the car. So what I'll do is I'll put all the spec and everything on the screen, but we'll have a look around the car. We'll see if it remains as practical as it was. And of course, we're gonna take it for a little drive. Meanwhile, check out the grill and let me know what you think. So let's take a look at the boot, it is powered. Now, I have done a full review of the car uh, two years ago, and I covered it quite extensively in that. So you also, I would recommend that you go and check it out, but I'll just do a quick look again. Now, this is quite a useful feature, which I didn't quite actually, in my previous review, I didn't quite figure out, that's my bag there, that you have this double floor, and then I was like, why are there two bits here? And that, what I didn't realize is that you can actually do this. And by doing this, what happens is that you create a kind of a partition. And where it's quite useful is that you put your regular stuff in the back, you can just drop your shopping and stuff in there. So actually that's quite a useful feature to have. Um, boot is of course powered, the button is here. Let's see what the rear space is like. All right, so here we are in the back of the new Nissan Qashqai. I say new, I mean, it's not really new. Like I said, it's more a facelift. So like I said, there is a full review on the one that I did two years ago. So do check that out as well. I'll put the link above below, whatever. But uh, this driving seat is set for me. And as you can see, I've got decent amount of leg room. That's not an issue at all. Uh, foot room, there is, uh, you know, it could do with more foot room, but it's not too bad. It's okay. You can get your feet in there. Uh, you are sitting with your feet up a little bit. Obviously, there's a sandwich floor in here. So I guess that's where the, um, the battery goes. And uh, that does mean that your feet are higher. That means your knees are higher. That means if you're looking for support under here. But again, don't forget, I am tall with long legs. So it's more of an issue for me. Um, you do get uh, armrest, Isofix Chelsea anchor points. Very nice textured seat and you get the Alcantara here and on the door on this trim whatever this trim is which you also get on the dashboard at the front there so that's quite nice in fact talking to the front let's get into the front but it, back here loads of headroom good shoulder room quite airy um, this one doesn't have the sunroof the last one I tried had a sunroof which made it more airy but it does have the rear skylights which actually do uh, add to the sort of feeling of space in here Hope you're enjoying this video. If you are, make sure you hit that like button, comment, share, tell the world. All right, so here we are inside. 
the Qashqai, and actually, to be honest, it's all quite familiar. Now, the big thing that they're talking about with this car is, let me turn it on, so the starter is down here. Now, the car that we're in, like I said, spec on the screen, this is the e-power, this is a range extender hybrid, so it actually runs like an electric car, but the engine is there to basically charge it up. And as you can see, it's all come to life. Now, digital dashboard there, screen there. Now, they're saying there's been some updates to this functionality, but actually it's things like Google. So they've introduced a multi levels of Google function into it. So as for example, hey Google, what's the weather like today? Currently in Quartera, it's 28 degrees and mostly sunny. Today, it'll be mostly cloudy with a forecast high of 28 and a low of 19. And tomorrow, there will be scattered showers. So a lot of cars can do that, but try this, the same Google. Hey Google, can you reduce the temperature by two degrees? All right, turning down the temperature by two degrees. So you saw that, right? It actually did it. So it has uh, access to functionality in the car as well. So this is where it's actually changed. Otherwise, the car is the same. It's got the same uh, transmission uh, here, which is obviously that you get the e-pedal mode, which is the one pedal mode, which has a lot more region, but you could put it into B mode, which has sort of about half the amount of braking when you lift off. You've got EV mode, which really you don't need because that's how the car runs anyway. And then you've got the drive modes, which give you sport standard. To be honest, they only really uh, alter the throttle input a little bit. You've got your wireless charger there where my phone is now currently charging. Uh, as you can see there, that lights up your climate control, your cubby box with the two levels there. Somebody's phone also, actually Nissan's phone actually is charging in there. Cup holders, steering uh, column with all the remotes on it, with the everything like that. And this really nice Alcantara thing. Also, you've got this camera. So this is also new. So you get this uh, uh, 360 degrees bird's eye view around the camera and uh, I think if I there's another way if I is it that one yeah so you also get this mode that you can see directly underneath the car so like if you're off-roading and stuff which is not something you would do in this car but you can see um, so that's quite handy uh, it could well be and uh, that's pretty much it to be honest there isn't much different in this car compared to the one that I tried previously so let's just take it for a short drive So now the reason I said let's take it for a short drive is because I have just done quite an extensive drive in it. So we're in Portugal at the car launch, they brought us here. And so that's how important the Qashqai is to them, that they've flown us all the way here to Portugal to try out a car that essentially is just a facelift. But it's a big seller, it's an important car for them. And you know, it's one of their top sellers in our market. Um, so they brought us out to this amazing, beautiful place here, which is quite warm. Um, but we've been driving on some incredible mountain roads, fantastic mountain roads, where we really had a chance to check it around and uh, to be honest it's not a sports car it's that's not an environment that it thrives in this is actually the environment that it thrives in which is in the city over speed bumps over you know stuff like that and you can feel that the ride is good it's so it doesn't have the rigidity of some evs i mean really is the best compromise of all worlds in a sense you know um so it really does a, a great job uh, meeting all your needs sort of thing and it's really, really good uh, in the sense that it provides the best of both worlds in the sense that, you know, for, for an EV, it does, it drives and feels and does everything like an EV does, plus, of course, lower emissions, but it has the petrol engine to keep powering it. So you don't have to worry about plugging it in and all the rest of it. In terms of driving, it is exactly as you would expect it to be. It's light, easy, controlled, doesn't really demand much of you, but at the same time, it grips well, it goes well, it does everything that you would expect it to do, that you would need it to do. And like I said, we were out on some very challenging, very interesting mountain roads, and it was holding its own. It was fine, it had plenty of performance. When you press the accelerator hard, it kicks down. I have, a, like I said, in the previous video, I did a full explanation of the e-power system and how the e-power system works so for a reference because it's a very unusual way it's a little bit different to how a lot of the hybrid systems work so for a full explanation of exactly how what e-power is and how it works please go and check out that video again the link will be below and uh, so I'm not going to go into too much detail in that just suffice to say that it feels like an EV to drive it sounds like a petrol car sometimes to drive when you really push down on the throttle you hear the engine come in but the engine is not driving the wheels it's simply adding more power to the equation sort of sort of thing but 
good visibility, good braking, great ride, very comfortable, everything as you'd expect it to be. It's just a very smooth, very easy uh, family ride, which is exactly what you want it to be. So in that sense, it's, it's just the Qashqai, but slightly better with a few more gadgets. And let's be honest, that's what people kind of really want nowadays, don't they? Especially if you're using a car for city traffic and stuff like that, you want more gadgets, you want more hands-free stuff, which you've now got with the Google interaction. And of course, they've got the facelift. And the facelift, of course, brings it more closer in line with the rest of the Nissan range. So it kind of brings it closer to the Aria, which is the full EV, etc., etc. But other than that, there really isn't that much more to say about the vehicle, other than it's really good. If you're thinking of buying a Qashqai, it might be worth waiting for the new one but there isn't a huge amount of difference so actually if you want to stick with the existing car you'd actually be fine so anyway there's the review hope you enjoyed it let me hear your comments and i'll catch you all in the next one